Hey everybody, welcome back. Having a fun time experimenting a little bit with the weekly this week. Is there a 3-4? Give me the one, two at the front. Give me the three, four, and then the two, three. We're playing, I mean, it's it's like a little poker here. We'll be like a squeaky nose, like a clown's nose, for example, like funny, like I amuse you. Um, we're basically just trying to not run into moths. If they don't have moths, we draw. If they have moths, my personal opinion, we probably win that if they have moths, but they didn't. There's nothing we can do to change that. Now I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to I'm going to move weakest unit to the back. I'm going to run a three attack unit up at the front, just in case they've got some mods that we need to take. What the heck is this? What have you done? Never mind. We win these. Supreme Defecator, huh? What a name. Level me. It's interesting. The puppy. If you took it, took it. Pilled and ran four squatted on this round. And we're, oh, a swan would hit the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna move, puppy's gonna be a four, four. I'm gonna move my four, three to the front. I'm gonna move you right here. So the puppy carries a great cost. I think the puppy, if we win, uh, if we get it to level two, we stand a good chance to win. Now this is unfortunate. If we don't get it to level two, then probably we'll consider it not to have been worth the cost. But it's where we stand right now. If anything, you're going to need garlic. Roll me. Another otter. Probably just take that. Don't hit the beaver. That's fine. We can roll one more time. A beaver for level up. Okay, so how does this work? We're going to level up the beaver, sell the otter, sell the beaver, and structure our whole team around getting this puppy to do something. My god, the, the, the closest win I've had in a long time. Now. You're tier two, you're tier one. We're gonna get you. This is huge. We're gonna sell you. We're gonna get you. We're gonna sell you. Takes us to eight. Unfortunate. <laughs> We're gonna lettuce, which is a nice buff. We can buy one more unit. Let's buy a moth and have the moth uh, hit our swan. Uh, you know what? Maybe a seven ten. Well, actually, you're gonna be what? You're gonna be a nine nine. Let's have it hit the seven ten. Okay. This team, it 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 has a chance. The the bison, it's sorry, the buffalo itself is scaling. Level two saved. We win these for sure. Okay, it's smooth sailing right now. We gotta keep, we, we need buy cells and pills. Like we should freeze pills. It, it makes our buy cell much easier. You need this, roll me, sell me, buy me. Beautiful. I would say sell me, roll me. I would love to buy a pillable unit, but that's not the case here. I clicked the roll by accident. I meant to buy a giraffe. I'm so freaking stupid. Uh, this is fine. Freeze me, freeze me. Another puppy. It, like It's a pretty big whiff on this turn, but it, it doesn't slow down our puppy. It slows down our buffalo. That's the only... I mean, it's a big problem, but it is what it is. Don't spawn a rat and, and tell me it's raining. It might have made a difference there, unfortunately, but you can't turn back time. So give me a... While you have the scaling on you, give me a betta fish. Did I just pill my puppy? Oh my god, I <laughs> Why do I have so little gold? What actions did I take this turn? I, I know I bought a betta fish. But why am I why am I so low on gold, man? It's falling apart. We know we need to buy the puppy at some point. Roll me, roll me. Get a pill ready. Unfreeze me, freeze me. Okay, I mean, like, I, I think I might have had a small cerebral infarction. What? I, I don't understand how I ended up so light on gold. I, I believe a, a mistake was made. I would like to appeal it to the uh, Nevada Gaming Commission, but now I would not like to. I would like to decline the penalty because we, uh, we won regardless. You should purchase me. Pill me. Buy me. Maybe we could have had you just be in a second spot for a minute there, but... Let me state the obvious. 
at some point, this um, this marmoset has got to go. A seven ten is like still somewhat viable, it, even if it just ones for one. Like that's is better than I could ask for. It's better than I deserve. We gotta time the dismount on that marmoset appropriately, and it, it might be right here. Something like a second swan, sell the marmoset. We're buying a beaver to help out our buffalo. Always freeze a pill. I think if we're, if we're in buy-sell, we freeze a pill. The stats are too valuable to pass up. This is definitely buyable. Oh, we should have done it to the side. And then we can buy one more thing. I mean, I think a shark also benefits from units being pilled. So there's, there's something to like there. And I'll pop you down right there. No level twos on our big guys has got me a little spooked, but we got more team synergy than usual. Holy cow. That's horrible. <laughs> what a squad. Two level two bats and a hedgehog was enough to get it done. Wow. Um, okay. At this point, you have to be combined. You, you're going to need some garlic. So great buyable, sellable, rollable. I really want to get some pills out. Like the monkey is obviously good, but I, re I really want to get some good pillables out here. We can really only afford to buy one. Let's buy the thing that gives us stats. I suppose I could just pill you next turn and you get one, two. You don't always have to pill a pillable unit. You could just pill a unit that... I mean, it's one extra cost for... Well, I guess we get one extra gold. It could make a big difference. This seems bad. I'm not enjoying having uh, basically one and a half good units right here. We're on lethal on round 10. This is a very scary time to be me, I think. No second pillable. I, we need the money this turn. I'm going to say sell me. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to pill you. Don't give it to the swan. Thank you. That's that's huge. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to sell you. Takes us to six. I'm going to buy you. And then honestly, at this stage, I guess I'd rather sell you to get 2-2 two, two instead of 2-1. Good point. Can I, if I'm being real with you, I think the time has come to pill this unit just to give the shark a little extra support. And I don't know. Now that I did it, I'm like, that's the dumbest move I've ever seen in my life. I'm three squatted. <laughs> I'm three squatted with a shark, which benefits from having more units. What have I done? I gotta, I gotta call my doctor real quick. Hang on, do I? No, I'm a genius? Okay, somehow hanging in there. We had a, no slouch, had an 1822 shark at the back. I would say add a second shark for the time being, although it's gonna soak up all my buffs. The, the puppy is just, I guess there's order here. We should have leveled the, the bison like faster. Right, you know what? I mean, it's, we were gonna wanna level the shark too. Should have leveled the puppy faster. I don't know, man. I'm giving the puppy. I'm giving it to the puppy. It's crazy. This is a. This team is not that much better than the team we just ran and said, "What are we doing?" Please, I need this. Just, just punch through that first unit. That that ox. That's all I need. The squad is just like permanently pivoting. Like every round, we're pivoting. You're gonna buy me. You're gonna sell me. We're gonna put this on you and pray. And then we're gonna, we're basically just gonna add a spider just cause it makes both sharks better and also gives us another trigger. And then the puppy, we, we need to lollipop this puppy probably. Like it's, it's getting too close to max. Thank God they screwed it up. Or, or maybe their squad's pivoting too. I don't know, probably not cause they're on lethal, but I know it's not how it works, but if it were how it worked, Okay, somehow we're on eight. We're gonna need, I mean, pill would be nice, don't get me wrong, but sell me, buy me. I would say sell me. I would say we don't need to worry as much about getting the, the puppy scaling this turn. This is just a nice unit to have because it's pillable for next turn. At least we have a four squad. <laughs> Roll me a little. Forget about the snake. It hasn't done what I've, I've really thought that it needed to do this week. 
It just might not, with, without pineapple, it might not be a big, like, snake weekly. Okay, they got a, they got a nasty looking team here. I'm not gonna deny that. And yet, our team's got a certain <laughs> nastiness itself. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. They got a little weird with that one, okay? We get a moth, freeze an otter, and then uh, jokes on you, I got another freaking moth. I want to run um, maybe you here. I mean, at least we have a level. We just want to be at full HP by turn three. I'll be a, a broken hands. Did you hear by the time I slam my thumb in the back door? I feel like I can keep talking about it because it hasn't healed yet. You may have missed the anecdote where I went to the doctor and he's, his first words were, what do you want to get out of this appointment? Which I have only recently come to realize means that he probably thought I was trying to get a prescription for uh, opioids, which I was not. I was trying to get a referral to a dermatologist. The irony is it's going to take six months for the referral to a dermatologist. If I asked him for the opioids, there's a chance he might have just hooked me up. <laughs> there's an epidemic. I'm not trying to make light of it. I'm just saying. Okay. We draw, and honestly, that's all we could have asked for. We got two levels coming our way. Two giraffes would hit so hard. Give me some of this and some of this. A seagull with a croissant. We can croissant next turn. We want to get our level first. Fool me once, we won't get fooled again. Give me the stats for now, man. Now I think we should put you at the front. You're gonna, you're gonna have eight attack? That should be enough to kill basically anything. I do find myself running a lot of four squads and even three squads this week, right? Like, I, I that's gotta be something that's in, inhibiting our ability to succeed. <laughs> you think? But no, no, no. The squad's looking good. Now I'm telling you, death touch... this move them over so you didn't have to move them over but i'm moving them over maybe we don't maybe we don't have to move them over maybe we pop you down here then we can put out a marmoset and still get the croissant next turn um i'm telling you if we can get death touch on the seagull and then run slugs in front there's some serious and by serious power i mean i lost to it once and i went wow that person is a genius i'm gonna copy it as soon as i get the chance Bat croissant seems more sensible to me here. Otter always seems good. And then the betta fish, it's a 4-2 basically for 4. I'm going to call that um, good enough. I'm also going to I'm going to sell out our otter. I think it's time for it to go. I realize we're not getting croissants on everybody, but that's okay. I actually think you, you give garlic to a moth here, even though it has a croissant. I, I swap back into my Kirkland Signature way of referring to that, uh, that baked good now. I think garlic on our, on our moth is going to benefit us more the way the stats are shaking out right now. And we're probably going to stick with the moth for a bit. It, it can stick around for a while. That's very nice. I would, I would say pill me. Like, place me, nice croissant as well, place me, garlic me, and now we're, we're trying something a little out there. If we go up against moths, we're not going to like this. But if we go up against non-moths, I think that this, our, our mon mothma can, can munch them. We went up against moths. <laughs> Shouldn't have risked it. Should have, should have put like a... Should have put our bat at the front or something. But alas, what's done is done. Very important level here. This is a buy me. Not a, not a good buy me, sell me. Because we could have had a croissant on our slug instead. We're still going to buy this slug. And you could put slug in the front. Keeping the seagull buffing you. Yeah, yeah, are you buffing the seagull, I should say. A second slug. Trying to figure out, like, what we're going to do. <laughs> so to get Death Touch on our seagull, the seagull probably needs a donut, and then we need to pill a walrus. It's not out of the question. 
and then we can go to the moon. I mean, honestly, I think we have enough HP to make this happen. Like, the rest of our squad looks, looks pretty solid. Slug is the only unit getting the buff off of our lettuce right now. You're kind of close. Yeah, actually, I might say, like, the bat has served its purpose at this point, which was to wait for other bats to show up, and then they didn't. We'll definitely level you next time to get a walrus would go crazy. Um, I, I hate to do... You know, honestly, the best play here, as crazy as it seems, might just be to do that to a mop. More HP is probably more advantageous. We really want to see a level 3... A level three moth is another thing on our on our nice to have list. This kangaroo's not gonna go as off as it thinks it's about to go. You're not that guy, pal. What about could we, now that I think about it? Could we also just throw a stake on a seagull, and then it will give a stake to slugs? This is important. That's not that important. This is important. We that's not that important. We don't necessarily need a donut. I think more than any, I'm, I'm realizing now, probably the easiest play is chocolate or seagulls on your seagull so that it can give more that its food more than one time. And then a steak is a lot easier to set up than, a, than death touch. That might be like our, our temporary setup. Because right now we, we haven't gotten the, the dream squad to work, but I mean, if there's a lot of moving parts involved with this. I'm, I'm pretty happy where we stand, honestly. Still not what we want. Still not what we want. We want seagulls and chocolates. I wouldn't even take another giraffe. I don't think it's like necessary right now. I would just buy a taco, I guess. Like it's, we got to hedge our bets a little bit because we, we didn't get what we were looking for in the first few rerolls. Might as well get something out of it. Now this team as it stands is not going to 10. But with a, with a stake and a level two seagull, I think it stands a chance. And I definitely think it stands a chance. Oh, this, this, uh, they got their own little slug set up here. I definitely think it stands a chance. Wait, we, we're actually going to win this one. I, I don't believe it. I think it stands a chance if we get the, the walrus going, but there's a lot more moving parts in that one. <laughs> there's the walrus, by the way. Okay. Um, in that case, donut me. Sell me. Buy me. We're looking for a pill. It would have been nice if it showed up a little earlier. Now, you can take a steak first. That's not really a big problem. Chocolate to, to go on our seagull, probably. Now, let me think about this. <laughs> you could go first. I'm just worried that, like, steak plus a level 3 moth on the same unit is kind of overkill. Now remember, this is the, I'm glad we have 4 HP because this is a, like not the order we want long term. The donut on the walrus is, is just, you know, it, it was by accident, but it's, it's the way we... It's the way it had to be set up for this to sort of work. Okay, I... Now you... I mean, you're going off. I gotta I got give you some credit. This is a, this is a smart team. A lot, of, a lot of cool hurt trigger teams this week. You should take this. Please give me a pill. <laughs> you you need the level, but you're gonna give a don't. What what if you got death touch? Copy this, friends. It's like if you died, you get death touch. Is it possible that you would then you you would apply death touch to the first two slugs? Wait a minute, and you're gonna get death touch because of the donut. Wait a minute, the, the, it's it's all come together. This is this is it. This is that we got all the pieces in place. I believe. Okay, so, this gives death touch to the seagull. You stake, you break it, and then we get a death touch. Oh! <laughs> Dude, it's, it's a crazy setup. It's not even that hard to create. I would love for you to hit level three. I can wait. I absolutely would love that. Okay, so now you're going to pass it to... Well, you're not going to pass it to more than... You know what we could do? We actually give you honey next turn, so that the bee gets death touch. I suppose, no, yeah, yeah, it, it kind of makes sense. You could also just move the seagull back one, and then, but then if the seagull gets sniped or something, I don't know. I'm happy with what we got, let me put it that way. It's still great. 
Like, that's nice. That's very nice. It's al It almost feels like it's too good. But it's also such a unique strategy. You don't see the seagull putting in this much work in a lot of circumstances. I'm almost upset that it seems like we're going to win. Because I, I would rather see this one, like, go... Like, why don't you take a stake, too? I would rather see this one go on a little bit longer, honestly. But I guess I can't really complain. It's a very... It's nice to be a part of it, quite frankly. It's nice to be a part of it. Now, let's see. You're gonna... You stole my stake? You stole my death touch? You stole my other death touch? But you won't steal this death touch! But it's not gonna do what I needed to do. Okay, so that raccoon is the is that's the anti-slug strat. You know what? I wish for it to go longer. Here we are going longer. Can't really complain. Don't really need a taco. You need to be sold, and and we need to get something better. I don't want to overwrite your 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 B. I don't want to overwrite your stake. That's why we're not gonna go tiger into walrus. We're getting more de death touch out of it this way. But I don't want to overwrite your B. <laughs> I guess I'd rather have a 30-31 with Death Touch than a 30-31 that spawns a 1-1 with Death Touch. But it's, it's not as cut and dry as you might think. Then I'm like, dude, wouldn't we rather just have like an Orca out here instead? But we, no, we can't afford to summon another unit. Because if the other unit gives us... Um, well, when, when we buy the other unit, it'll get a donut. And I can't, I can't afford for the donut to be out there. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's a little goofy, but we're, we're doing our best. What is this? My weakness. My death touch. My Gamora. I'm, I might be toasted. Holy cow, we're on lethal? This, this team might not get it done. We really don't need a level 3 slug, but it's also like... It's right there. I bet we don't... I was just gonna say, I bet we don't have the badge. There's worse things than giving it one more college try, okay? Please no blowfish or hedgehogs. It's just a strong team. Weakness is, is horrible for us, but it... <gasps> you're going to overwrite. There's no death touch. You're going to overwrite weakness on everybody. You, how dare you? My incredible strategy that I stole from someone else who beat me with it. Okay, well, you know what? We got something to aim for this week. If we ever see a seagull, we know that there's another out. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!